In this video, I'll be showing how to get wins fast in Roblox Bed Wars, so make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for more guides on Roblox Bed Wars and like the video. So first, the best mode to get wins on is squads, because squads, there's only four teams of four, so it's basically you versus three other teams. Duos and solos have eight teams, so it's kinda you versus seven other teams. Of course, sometimes people take each other out, but that usually takes longer than just rushing people. 16v16 only has two teams, but it's not that great for getting wins fast because there are just so many people, everyone's just defending the bed, and it takes way too long in my opinion. So just don't do 16v16. Every now and then you may get lucky and your team will work together and eight of them, maybe more, will rush, but most of the time it's just you and then everyone else is camping at the gen or not really doing anything. So 16v16 is kind of random and it usually takes long. So the mode you want to do to get wins fast is squads and you're going to need to play with friends or at least people you can coordinate stuff with. So if you join squads randomly and you don't have a party, then you're probably going to get in with people that don't really know what's going on, don't read the chat, and won't really coordinate what to do. So in my Discord server, there's a channel called Looking for Party, and you can join there and find people to join your party. Also in Bed Wars official Discord server, which is on the Roblox game, if you scroll down under social links, it shows their Discord. But my Discord server is linked in the description of this video, so join there, or join Bed Wars Discord server, and try to find a party on there. You can just say, hey, I'm looking for a party, I need two people to join if you already have a person in your party, or if you have friends that can join, invite them to your party, and you just need people that you can actually coordinate stuff with, because your team needs to have a strategy. There are three different things you and your teammates can do. Defend the bed, get diamonds, or rush, and I recommend having two rushers, one bed defender, and one diamond collector. So as the bed defender, first you need wood. Get wood, put it on your bed, and it doesn't matter where you put extra wood, just put wood everywhere on the bed, and I like making the bed a little longer to trick people into thinking the bed may be like right here so they destroy it but they're off a little bit. The second layer you need is blast proof ceramic because they made TNT cheaper and a lot of people just use TNT now so make sure to get blast proof ceramic. In my last video TNT was more expensive. Well I did that last video like a month ago or more than a month ago I don't really remember but it was kind of a long time ago so at the time TNT wasn't that popular but now since TNT is cheaper a lot of people use it, and you just need to get blast-proof ceramic to protect your bed. So make sure your bed is covered everywhere with blast-proof ceramic, then we can move on to the next layer. So just get blast-proof ceramic, and then put it everywhere on your bed. I don't think I got enough but that is enough to put a little bit on the bed. Also, if you're the bed defender, you should definitely get a bow or a crossbow. Bows are very important to get because you can just knock people off if they're rushing you. Like right now we're getting rushed. I'm gonna get a bow and just shoot this guy. Oh no, he's getting close. He got too close. I should have shot him earlier, but there I hit him a couple more times and my teammates knocked him off, so we're good. But definitely get a bow. If someone's rushing you, just stand to the side of your base and knock them off with it. Very easy easy to do, and it's probably the best way to defend your bed. After you get the layer of blast-proof ceramic, you want to get armor, because if you're the bed defender, then armor is also very important, because if someone makes it past the bridge, then armor is gonna be something you can use to actually fight them. If you don't have armor and they do, then you'll probably lose the fight if you don't bow them off, so armor, very, very important. So a layer of stone will defend against anyone trying to mine the bed with an axe, because that's gonna take very long. If they have a pickaxe, they can mine it fast, but then they don't have to get through the blast-proof ceramic and the wood. So this is just a great bed defense. I might need a little bit more stone, but this is how you want to defend the bed. I see a lot of people only putting wool on the bed, and you'd never want to do that. Wool is very bad. People can mine it basically instantly because it's only three shot. I put another layer of blast-proof ceramic on the bed. Well, almost another layer. I need a bit more, but if you want after the stone layer, you can get iron armor because if someone's rushing, they'll probably have iron armor by now this late in the round. So definitely get iron armor, but I'm putting another layer of blast proof ceramic because it just seems like a good idea. But we can get iron armor, then continue putting blast proof ceramic on the bed. But this is probably the best bed defense that wouldn't take an insane amount of time to build. Once you put stone and possibly another layer of blast proof ceramic on the bed, you can just spam whatever blocks you want to now, except for wool. So if you want to put more stone, you can, more wood, just put whatever you want on the bed. Or if you want to leave it like this, it's fine because this is already 
a lot of defense. If they think this is the only layer of blast proof ceramic and break it, then put TNT, they're gonna be surprised with another layer of blast proof ceramic. Also, send whoever you're playing with this video so they know the best strategy for whatever they're doing, but next round I'll show what to do as the diamond collector. If you didn't win by now, you should have a tier 3 gen or be very close to a tier 3 gen, so try getting emeralds, and once you get a emeralds, get diamond armor. Once you get more emeralds, get a crossbow so you can snipe people off the bridge even easier. And if you want, you can get a diamond sword after that, but I recommend saving up for an emerald sword if you think the round is gonna be a very, very long one. If the round is lasting so long that you're considering getting an emerald sword, if you have a farmer on your team, give the emeralds to them so they can get melons, then just use the melons for emeralds and try to get emerald armor instead. But usually rounds should only take as long as it takes to get iron iron armor, maybe diamond armor, but rounds still shouldn't really take that long. Oh, also here's a very pro tip, you should join my Bed Wars clan, it's gonna be linked in the description of this video, and if you put T underscore in the front of your display name, then you'll get ranked to the Bed Wars clan role, and if I see you in game, I'll invite you to my party if it's not full. This round I'm gonna be the diamond collector, which is the easiest job, because all you need to do, build the diamond gen, get diamonds, do that for the entire round, and you can also get armor because sometimes people may attack you, but just get wool, build over to the diamond gens, and if someone's rushing the bed, you should help the bed defender because you're only going to be like a little bit away from the bed. You're still going to be very close, so just build over to the diamond gen, get diamonds, run to the other diamond gen, and just keep going back and forth. Sometimes go to the iron gen at your spawn to get better armor. Like right now, yellow's rushing, and none of my teammates are attacking them. Now they're attacking them, but we're going to try knocking them off because, well, one of them just ran away. Oh, someone else is rushing our bed. We're literally getting double teamed, rushed by two teams at the same time, and we knock that guy off. So just keep going back and forth to get diamonds, also get armor, and here's what you want to upgrade. So get tier 3 gen as soon as possible, don't buy anything else unless it's near the very end of the round and there's only like one team left. If other teams are stealing your diamonds, then just tell the rushers on your team to rush that team. So target them, because you really need to get diamonds, and if they're taking all the diamonds, then if you get their team, you can get all the diamonds. One of Blue is just camping over there and bowing me off when I try getting diamonds, so if someone is trying to bow you, tell the rushers on your team to rush them too. So right now, the rushers on my team need to rush Yellow and Blue. One of my teammates broke Blue's bed, so we just need to get everyone trying to stop us from getting diamonds, then we can continue getting them and rush the last team. But get tier 3 gen as soon as possible, then get armor protection tier 1, Sharpness tier 1, tier 2 armor protection, tier 2 sharpness, then get tier 3 armor protection, so get it in the order I just said. Don't upgrade break speed, pretty sure it doesn't work. When I have max break speed, it doesn't look like I'm breaking anything faster, it still seems the exact same. Also, it's break damage, not break speed, but you can still break everything really fast with a diamond axe and pickaxe, or even an iron axe and pickaxe. So I don't recommend upgrading break speed, it's not even speed, it's just damage, so it's not really worth it. But if you have everything else maxed, then you might as well upgrade break speed. So again, get tier 3 gen as soon as possible, then upgrade armor and sword sharpness based on whichever one's cheaper, so just keep going back and forth between upgrading them, and don't upgrade break speed unless if everything else is maxed out. As the diamond collector, I recommend also getting a bow once you have iron armor, because bows are pretty useful. You can't really do anything with it though, because you're just getting diamonds, so if you're trying to snipe someone at mid, they'll probably just snipe you back at the diamond gen. But every now and then you may get lucky, you'll see someone on a bridge and you could possibly shoot them, so just get a bow if you're the diamond collector. Also, if someone else is trying to take the diamonds, you could possibly knock them off with the bow. Now I'm going to be the rusher, so you want to rush teams based on how high up they are on the leaderboard. So it sorts teams by the highest win streak of the party leader, so that means blue team, the party leader has a higher win streak than I do, so I'm going to rush blue first. So you always want to rush blue, if you're not on red, then rush red, then green, and then yellow. So just rush teams in order of how they are on the leaderboard. So we got a decent amount of iron, I'm gonna get a wood axe and a lot of wool. So now let's rush blue first. So if someone has stone on their bed, which most of the time people don't put stone on their bed, you're gonna need TNT or if they have a lot of wool or something. So blue already has a pretty decent bed defense, it's mainly just wool, so it could be decently easy to break their bed, but this strategy doesn't work all the time, especially if they have a lot of stuff around their bed. So I'm gonna go over to their bed, 
and start mining it right here from under it. And there we go, we got their bed. Sometimes a team is gonna be very hard to rush because all of them are just camping the entire time. Like they're just getting a tier three gen, camping it the entire game and not really doing anything else. So you want to get TNT and an iron axe so you can one shot the bed with the iron axe. So build up to their base. TNT it as much as you can. I'm gonna TNT right there and two right there. That guy's below me, so he can't really get me. Their bed's open. I can just jump down and break it. So that is always gonna work for breaking the bed if you TNT it, but you're gonna probably need a lot of TNT if they have a lot of defense, and you may have to try a few times if, like, all of them are camping their bed with a crossbow. Of course, you can also use balloons and just place the TNT in the air, but if they have crossbows, they can just shoot you or shoot your balloons, and you're not gonna be able to get into the air. Like, one of my teammates just a three balloons and he got all of them popped by green team like i said you should have two rushers so the second rusher should just rush a different team than the first rusher but if there's only one team left or one of the teams is very hard to rush then both of the rushers can rush the same team bed wars keeps adding new things and they will probably add something to make it easier to get wins fast like a new item that's just really good or something like that so i'll definitely do another video if there's a new strategy to get wins fast but currently this is the best one that I know of, but if I think of another, again, I'll do another video, so make sure to subscribe with the notifications on so you don't miss that. Also, like the video, join my Discord server linked in the description, follow my Twitter at Talanthric, use dark code Talanthric to support my channel, and linked in the description is a playlist called a Roblox Bed Wars Guide slash series. Most of my videos on there are guides, so check that out for a lot of helpful content, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.